right, we left off last time on setting everything up and getting everything ready. What we're going to do now in this next little lesson is we're going to show you how you can change the design of your blog. Now, we're left on this position, so what we'll do is go back to this position. So you've, you've visited your blog, you're having a look at it, and this is your URL. And all you need to do is click on design. Once you've got it all loaded up and designs loaded up, you can then have a look which designs would suit your design for your blog. Now, there's a new thing called template designer that's just been remade by Google for Blogger because Google owned Blogger. So the best thing to do is, and the easiest one to do is actually Blogger. So I do suggest that you do it. Once this is loaded up, you'll be able to pick your own design of what you want. Now at the moment there's not that many because they've only just changed everything around. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go with this one here because it looks kind of kind of cool. Um, the awesome one. It comes underneath there and you can have a look before you see it what your blog will look like, different colours, formats, it's, it's really good, it's actually something different than what um, WordPress are giving at the moment, it's a different format, it's kind of exciting to see that Blogger is changing so much and you used to always think that Blogger is the platform that people don't like using but obviously they're all starting to use this, now once that's been applied you go back to Blogger <coughs> And it'll load up for you, and then you'll be able to have a look at what it looks like. So you can make sure before you you send it live what your blog looks like. So this is what your blog looks like now. See the difference? It's a lot more 3D. It's more, let's say, 21st century formatting rather than 1960s blogging. You can see it there. So what you need to do now is you need to go back into your design for it. Now, you need to go in and you need to start changing everything around and getting everything ready for when you do publish your blog. Now here we on this part here this is your navigation system from what you can move about and change where you want to do. So if you wanted to change something you get the crosshair on and you go down and now your followers is now below your archive and then you make sure every time you do something different and you change your blog that you save it then all you need to do then is go and have a little look at your blog and then you make sure that what you've done before you publish it is what you like to see as you can see now on the top followers has changed and the about me is now changed what you need to do like I said is you need to go back in and you need to start putting things on so if you're in for instance you're in mentor for free like there's a lot of people that I know that are in mentor for free that haven't got a blog I'll show you now how you can put a, a description of your blog um, on your blog of your download um, I'll just get it loaded now for you Right, what I've done now is I've set it all up so that it did take forever and I've shortened it out but what I've done is I've gone to the top and I've seen posting, I've right clicked and then opening a new tab on posting. That then opens this and I've pre-typed this so that you can see some, just as an example what I mean by you can put something on your wall of what you want. Now I've put, do you want success in, M in MLM Network Marketing? I can tell you now it's not your fault. Here's your free ebook. Now what you do then is you get a, pi a picture of something that you want. I'll get a picture of the success in 10 steps now on the next steps. And I'll show you how to apply it into a post and put it into your blog. What I've done to get the picture is I've typed in success in 10 steps in Google. Gone on to Google 
and then selected images on the top it's right on the corner I'll show you now I'll just go back and then I'll go forward again and I'll show you again what it is now on the top when you come to Google web means that you are looking at all the websites and images means you can look at the images that are on people's websites so what you want to do is select one of the images that's to do with what you want relevant to you you put in C full size and when you get into C full size it loads up and then you copy the address shut it down and then what you do then is you insert a picture on blogger by clicking next to the link and then instead of clicking on upload images you click on web address and then when it loads up you place it in post it in and you have an ebook you press OK and then what you can do if you click on the onto it you can make it smaller you can make it medium again you can put it on the left and have all the writing on the side what we'll do is we'll make it smaller because we want to put it into your post don't we so we'll make it smaller then when it's smaller what you do then is you get your, your link for your, your book and you highlight this and then you type onto there and click onto link then when link loads up there will be a link for your ebook to go in right here type in your ebook address in here and then it will come up OK and then when they click on the here they're going to download your ebook and they're going to process by getting yourself le all the leads now it can be used in different formats I've just shown you how to use it in in mentor for free because that's what I'm in I'm in mentor for free and I help people from mentor for free that need help on specific things like getting a blog going and stuff because they don't have much time because they're working and we, we tell people to work as well as build a part time income from home now once you've got that set up what you do to put it onto your blog is you click on edit HTML and then this is a clever bit is you copy and paste this into your layout in your HTML upload what you do now once you've copied it and you've got it set up is add a gadget let it load up once it loads up you'll have a selection of different options that you'll be able to select from them right this is the selection that you'll get this is the one you need HTML and JavaScript you click on that it'll open up a box again over the top of that once it's loaded up you'll be able to put in your information from what you just copied from your other one to copy your HTML now what you do is you put this in here and then you paste it in and then you save it once you've saved it it should be saved onto your blog there it is HTML JavaScript save it have a look at your blog and there it is on your blog what you have to do then is you have to mess around and make it look really pretty and really nice but that's how it is we'll do that in the next video um, because I run out because I want to put them on YouTube and stuff but this is how you do the HTML I hope you get a lot out of this I'll see you at the top thanks for tuning in